Hi friends, you're welcome. This is card level. We want to be proceeding from what we, yeah, we have stopped in the previous lesson. And so we will be exporting the all of this structure to Proto Detail. In the previous lesson, we are able to model, analyze, and design all of these structural members, including the steel trusses as well as the steel polines successfully. We are now in the lessons. We have a link in the description of this video that can lead you to the lessons so you have a better understanding. For today's lesson, we export this to the protas steel and then we'll be able to create, manually create a base plate and as well as anchor bolts and then we will proceed to create the weight connections on the steel process as well as the steel polines connections. So straight away, let us dive into the lesson. I will go straight away to the steel design tab in the drop down menu I will load Prota steel. Right, the protest still is loaded successfully. I will click on this close to close that dialog. Having the protest still just like this. So, what first we are going to be doing, we are going to be creating some uh, base plates like these ones I've created before. All right, I've created this one. So, I will be showing us how this is created. This is manually created. All right, so what I will do is I will zoom closely. And then I will have to delete. I will have to delete this. Okay. So I will highlight all of that, just like that. And then I right click, and then I will select, uh, delete it right there. Yes. Okay. Even the micros. I will delete the micros, which is this one. For me to delete that, I will hold the Alt key and then D on the keyboard. So I have to have a wireframe mode, so I can select this right click and then. I did that just like that okay so all again click D alt D okay to get back to the uh, to get back to the 3d shaded uh, mode all right so we are going to be creating a base plate here manually just as I've created these ones okay and as well as this anchor board so we are going to be consider a user defined a base plate Okay, we are going to define it on our own, so we proceed. What we need to do is we click on the base plate, this one, select there, click on this edge of this column, that point, click this point, then you have to rotate it in a way that you can be able to see the other end. Then pick this end. We are going to pick the next end. So we need to rotate that. So we pick this end, then pick the Last end to have the best plate just like this. Okay, escape. So if we hold the control key and W, you select the best plate, hold the control key, and then press W, it will change the orientations of the best plate. Or if you double click on the best plate, a, a dialog will come up in this dialog. You can use the positions in depth in the drop down menu. You can select any of these. All right, so click on apply and okay. So if you notice very well, you see that the base plate has entered a little bit into the concrete columns. So this will require a cut. All right. So we are going to be cutting this so that it will not clash with the. We are going to be cutting the top of the reinforced concrete column that is clashing with the base plate. And for us to do that effectively, we are going to be activating the the two D. So we are cutting the sections right here. Okay. We cut a section first, so we'll go to view and then create view by two points. So you pick the first point all the way and pick the second point. So you have this view. This is the view. Alright. So in this view now, if you select this the reinforced concrete column, you can see 
it is actually it is actually uh, taking over the uh, base plane that we created so at first we need to set our reference plane to the top of this so for you to do that you just have to click on this and it will get there all right so after which we'll be using the polygon cut this one to carry out the cutting and does that works so we'll click on that to run the polygon cut so the depth of cut will be considering 500 and the depth of cut then click on select parts and point so the part we are cutting is the reinforced concrete column this one after that is selected we click the first point that we are going to cut click the second point the third point the first point and then the first point and you can see that is cut successfully the reinforced concrete has been cut successfully we want to also proceed to cut this member because if we did not cut this vertical uh, member of the trusses we can't be able to weld it because all of these trusses braces are going to be welded all right so we need to cut this as well go to the create polygon cut select that in this case i'll be using cut depth to be 200 just like that select that then select the vertical member we are cutting it from this point to that point that point that point and that point so you can see it's been cut successfully after we you navigate to the 3d by double clicking on the 3d view to have this so you will you can see that uh, the reinforced concrete column is no longer clashing with it it's no longer clashing with the base plate and this is cut successfully so at first i'll be showing us how to use uh, weight tools so as to weight this vertical to the uh, bottom cord of the thrust okay so we'll be demonstrating using this one at first create weight you just have to click on that zoom closely and cl click on the point to be weighed so and then click on where you are weighting it to you are weighting it to the bottom cord of the thrust so we click on that so that weight is is done successfully if you hold the out escape the command hold the out on the keyboard and then d so this is the weight that we did so if you want the way to go around the side of this uh, vertical member you just have to double click on that okay then you go straight away to weight type select that and then all around click on apply so you can see the weight is all around the vertical member the area or the portion that we cut okay click on okay options so that is done hold the alt key and d on the keyboard to get back to the uh solid view okay so this time around we are going to be creating an openings for the anchor bolts on this base plate and for us to be able to create an opening successfully we will have to set this uh, reference plane to global so you click on this point to set it to global so with this we can create an opening all right or we will need to set it to be in line on the edge of this uh, we need to set the reference plane to be in line on the edge of this uh, base plate all right so for us to do that you just have to right click and then come to uh, set work plane and then uh, by three points okay so like that pick the first point which is here pick the second point and then the third point just have it just like this okay so after which you select the command and then this is the board uh, to create board group select that then we are going to select the base plate on which we want to open a hole on so select that then right click to activate it so once it's activated pick the first point and pick the second point then click on the ok options so this is the board created this one escape to display the command so now the board is created we want to be uh arranging this board in a way that we can be able to create holes on this uh, base plate for an anchor board to be placed 
in order for us to connect the state host to the Air Force Cockney column. So select the board right away, double click on it. In the board dialog, just like this, the diameter of the board is 20 mm. So the board assembly is that, okay? So we'll go to the setting number two. Uh, the board tolerance is very important. We take that to be three. So if the tolerance is three, uh, three plus 20 is 23. So there is a clear distance, which is the tolerance of uh, three in the hole. So go straight away to the positions. These positions, in the X direction, we have to be having two boats, and in the Y direction, we also have to be having two boats. So it's type 50 at first point, and you proceed to type uh, 200 at the next point. In the Y direction, the same point, 50 and 200. Okay? So if you shift, shift this a little bit, click on apply, so you can see this is the uh, board created. But it is not actually board we needed. What we needed is opening. So you have to go back to setting one, and then instead of type, uh, under type, instead of board, you have to choose a uh, hole. All right? And then click on apply. So that has created a hole right away. Click on set as default, and then OK. So if you select this and turn it over, you can see a hole created. This hole is 23 uh, millimeters, OK? The diameter is 23 millimeters, while the board itself is going to be 20 millimeters, all right? So with this created, if we want to place the anchor board now, the anchor board is already uh, set at default micros in protasteel, so you can just click on it. You can click inside of this hole to place it one by one, or you right click to activate it, select the plate to place it automatically, just like this, all right? So once this is done, okay, once this is done, the next thing we do to do is to weigh the bottom cord to the uh, base plate. All right, for us to do that, we just have to uh, go to the, we just have to select the weight, then pick this point, the point of intersections between the bottom cord and the base plate. Once you pick that, we are weighing it to the base plate, select the base plate to get that weighted successfully so the same thing we are going to be doing in the other side of this uh, uh, of this base plate so you determine this command at first and then we will rotate to that side after which we activate the weight command pick that point and then pick the base plate so that is where they successfully you want to see it or the call alt key control alt key and d you can see this is the way it lines all right so now what we'll do is if we should continue to be doing repeating this uh, definition on all the columns it will actually takes some time so we want to make this a micros on its own so by the time we placed it on the column it will be automatically in be in place it will be automatically inserted on the columns all right so for us to do that we don't need this uh, anchor board because this anchor board is already a default micros that come alongside with the protaster so we need to delete it out on the keyboard and d to get the wireframe get all the anchor board selected if there's any other object that is being selected with the control key and select any other object that is selected on the left side with the anchor board okay or if you don't do that hold on the key take it back to d take it back to the uh solid and then undo you get that removed okay so we want to be activating the cut this is the cut mi micros. They are auxiliary objects. They don't have any effect in the in the objects that consist of the state trusses. But before you be able to make a before you be able to make a user defined micros, you have to make them active. All right. So we need to get all of that selected first. So I click right there to get 
to get all the cuts as well as the base plates selected. After which, I will run the manual micros. This one, click on that. So this is the manual micros. So I will give these micros I wanted to create now. I'll give it a name. So I may call it GT, whichever names, the types I will be using, collisions. All right, then I'll click on new. So this is the GT, I will retrieve it, after retrieving it, I will select main member. So the main member is the column and the bottom cut of the thrust, after which I will right click and then select assign member. So assignment is carried out successfully, click on OK, then I will save it and OK. So I have created, I've converted this to a micro. So with this now, I can use it to place on any of these columns. Like for instance, we are already having this here. So if I should delete these micros, if I should delete these micros, I, I have to select that right click and then delete that. And then also I will delete the Anchors good. So if I'm having this now and I want to replicate, I want to replicate this in these provisions. Since I have converted it to micros, I just have to activate the manual micros. So once the manual micros is activated, I'll expand the one I created, which is the GT, this one. I'll get that selected, after which I will click on Create Connections. I'll select the first member, I'll select the second member to have that created. So this is how you can manually define uh, your own micros. And then use it effectively. So with this now, I can keep placing it in all of those provisions that doesn't have a uh, base plate. You know the way I've already placed in all those places. So after having this done, you have to deselect that, and then click on OK to accept the placement. Then pick the anchor bolt, right click to activate it, select the base plate to insert that, just like that. You did the same thing, yeah. Select the anchor bolt, right click to activate it. Select it again, right click to activate it and pick that to insert it. Just like that. So this is how you can manually create your own micros or your own base plates, convert it to micros and then use it effectively. For the uh for the trusses, we will be considering the for the polar line, we'll be considering the polar line connections. This one, if you right click on it, a dialog will come up. In this dialog, you can be able to choose a, any of the type of the connections you want to use for the polar lines. After which, apply and OK. You select it, select the top chord of the trust, the first polar line, the second polar line, to start that just like this. This is how you can insert your polines for all of these uh, provisions that we needed to insert polines, just like that. Okay, so we have successfully learned how to create a base plate, convert it to micros, and then we'll be able to use it in other provisions, and as well as how to wait and polar connections. I bring the lessons to stop here. So we continue in the next lesson. Stay tuned. If you have not subscribed, subscribe as we make progress in bringing to you an advanced lesson of this kind. Bye for now.